books, movies, TV shows, or in real life, we get some good pictures of what a best friend can look like, a best friend relationship. Unfortunately, there's no such thing as a perfect best friend, right? I mean, even our best friends are going to let us down, hurt our feelings, and maybe even throw apart from us. And as much as we might try, you and I can never be best friends that are perfect either. I know for myself in high school, I had a really close friend who we were together through thick or thin, well, until there was a certain young lady that got in between. Um, looking back, it's, it's kind of silly, but in that time, uh, it was quite uh, painful to realize that my best friend didn't always have my back and, well, I wasn't perfect either. But thankfully in that time, I learned that Jesus was the perfect best friend. He was always there. He didn't grow distant. Uh, he was always willing to pour out love on me and uh, help pull me up. He was always encouraging me. And that was amazing. And that closeness that I got with Jesus in that time, while I realized that my earthly friends um, my, my, with people weren't perfect, Jesus was a perfect best friend for me. And it changed my life. So how is Jesus a good friend to us? You know, I think about that time when Jesus invited Peter to walk on water. Now, it might seem strange at first to call that a good friend moment, but follow with me for a second. This is Matthew chapter 14. Um, then Peter called out to Jesus, Lord, if it's really you, tell me to come to you walking on the water. Yes, come, Jesus said. So Peter went over the side of the boat and walked off the water, uh, walked on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind and the waves, he was terrified and began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. And Jesus immediately reached out his hand and grabbed him. You have so little faith. Why, why did you doubt me? Now, when I think about that, when I think about what Jesus did in that moment for Peter, he does a few things. One, he, he includes Peter. He invites him into the amazing thing that he was doing. Right? Jesus is a really good friend. And then on top of that, he's there for Peter even if he makes a mistake. Jesus is a really good friend. Uh, on top of that, he supports Peter and strengthens Peter and helps Peter. Jesus is, is like a best friend. And even beyond that, he calls him to something greater. He, he challenges him. In fact, he doesn't just stop with supporting him. He challenges him to be all that he can be, to be more than what he currently is and to be what God designed him to be. In fact, um, I, I'm thinking about all the friends I have in my life and that would be the definition of the absolute best friend. Jesus is better than a best friend to Peter. But more than that, he's also a best friend and more than a best friend to you and to me. Because think about this. We've mentioned this passage a couple times. This is Matthew chapter 28, um, starting in verse 18. Jesus says, um, I have been given all authority in heaven on, on, and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I've given you and be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. See, Jesus is inviting you and including you into something that he's a part of. Jesus is inviting you to something greater than yourself. But even in that, he's supporting you and he's strengthening you and he's helping you and he's with you even when you make mistakes. And he challenges you to something greater than what you're currently experiencing. He invites you into more of what you were made for, to be more than what you currently are. And he's with you in that process. See, Jesus is better than a best friend. Jesus is better than a best friend, but what does that mean for you and for me? Well, I think it means two things. Thing number one, Jesus is the friend you need. He's inviting you into a deeper friendship with him right now. Uh, whatever you're going through, he's wanting you to trust him with it. Uh, he wants you to come to him and express your feelings about it. He wants to take the burden that you're currently carrying off your shoulders and place it on his. 
So sometime this week, bring your problems to Jesus. Pray, pray your feelings out loud. Write them down in a journal and find time to open your Bible and let him speak to you as a friend. Thing number two, what does it mean? What, what does Jesus being better than a best friend mean for you and me? It means that Jesus shows us the kind of friends we need to be. It's not easy and we don't always get it right. But Jesus challenges us by setting an example of how to love and treat the people around us, and he doesn't stop there. Jesus is standing next to you as a friend, giving us the help and courage we need to become better friends to the people we love.